identify all your groups. I want you to think about all the groups that you belong to. But for these purposes, let's pick three, three groups that you belong to. These groups can take any form. So for example, they can be groups that share the same opinion or the same concerns. They can be based on geographic location, could be a group that comes from the same culture, same extracurricular activities, community groups, sports teams, they can be online groups or offline groups. So if you could write down three groups that you belong to, kind of keep them apart from each other. Because then the next step is I want you to make a square around each of the groups based on how important those groups are to you. So large squares go around the very important groups. Medium squares go around the medium level groups. And small squares around groups that are maybe of less importance to you. How positive do you feel about being a member of the group? So in the top left corner of each square on a scale from one to 10, one being not at all positive to 10 being very positive, indicate how positive you feel about being a member of the group. Again, in the top left corner of each square on a scale from one to 10. And then next, in a typical month, how many days would you engage in activities for this group? Indicate the number of days per month in the top right corner of each square. How many years have you been a part of this group? Note the number of years in the bottom left corner of each square. How representative are you of the group? On a scale ranging from one, not at all, to 10, very well, indicate the extent to which you represent this group. For example, you're a good example of what it means to be a member. This score goes in the bottom right corner of each square. How compatible are the groups with each other? Groups that are similar or groups that you would feel comfortable inviting to the same event connect with a solid line. Groups that might not be so compatible or that you wouldn't be comfortable having them in the same group or event together, connect with a dotted line. And then our last instructions, where can you just note in the box if it is an online, an offline, or both? And then you have a social identity map.